Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Once we get past this Kukamaj who has decided just to be annoying and in our way, I am going to show you some of one of the really fun and useful bits here for, uh, nope, wait, wrong, wrong place, wrong place. Uh, but yes, we need to head back. Now, we need to get to the Dark World. There is one place in the Dark World that we've never actually bothered to go. You see, of course, we've had this, or one, that was very strange. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um, you know, but this is the one Dark World warp we've never really looked into. There's another one over by the palace, uh, or the Eastern Palace slash Palace of Darkness, but this is the really neat one. You go through the castle gate, and here we are at the pyramid. So, we've got all our gear, we've got all our stuff, we have the silver arrows and the golden sword, we have three cure-all potions, and a fairy, and it is time to fight Ganon. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aganim the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. So he's gonna do this. He starts off just throwing his trident at you. You wanna get in, hit him, get and you know, get away. Just keep moving. The trident will go for you, and then it will move back to his new warp position. So your best bet is really just to sort of move in a circular pattern. Get in and hit him. Yep, yeah, like that. Good. There we go. You can track the trident back to where he's going to appear, too, which is often very nice. And just keep at him. You can try the Whirling Blade, but it's really not worth it. And now he's going to do these things. You can, if you want, and at points you might wish to, use the Cane of Birna, but this isn't where I want to use it. So, you know, just try and dodge, dodge the bats, and the, you know, the, the Fire Ring will expand and contract and then turn into bats. Dodge the bats as best you can. Ah! Get in and hit him. In fact, try and hit him a couple times you know, before the bats show up. And there we go, keep moving, keep moving, good, like that, yes, watch out, because, you know, a couple of those bats will sneak through when you're not paying attention, just hit him, hit him a few more times, watch out for the bats, very good, ow. Now he'll start doing that. This is actually not a bad time to use the cane of Birna. You cannot be hurt by the fire trails. Just follow him around and thwack him. Now, get off the cane. Go to the fire rod. Just what he'll he'll tran tra trans teleport around. Just follow him when he stops and does that. And he, you know, just try and stay out of the bat the the flame trail. Yeah, careful. Good. You know, when he stops, hit him. He's going to make all four, ouch, sides of the place fall away. You want to avoid, you want to avoid being uh, anywhere where they hit. Ow. You are doing well, lad, but can you break through this secret technique of darkness on guard? Now, yeah, he's going to do this thing where the lights are going to go out. You cannot hurt him until the lights are on. So hit, uh, you know, hit, turn the lights on, hit him with the sword, he'll turn blue and freeze, and then you, you know, shoot him with a silver arrow. Damn it! Don't do that. Don't be stupid like that. Because he's going to completely, you know, he's going to completely resurrect. S resurrect. Uh, you know what I mean. He's going to completely, you know, get all of his hit points back. Well, he's going to start basically from the um, floor dropping bit again, I believe. 
When Ganon is stunned, give him his last moment with a silver arrow. Yeah. It's, it's just like in the original game. After this, they went for light arrows instead of silver ones. But at this point, it was still the whole silver arrow thing. So, let's just watch out for these jerks. So, you know, we can just keep doing this. Yeah, we might want to, you know, use a blue potion here and get our magic back, given that we're going to have to, again, keep throwing around fireballs. So, we drop down. And, yep, we're up against Ganon. He starts the whole thing. Oh, nope, he does, he starts the whole thing right from the beginning. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the neck. So I'm gonna wait until I take a few more shots, and then I will use a blue potion. Just stay in, try and hit him. Dodge the trident. You can usually get in two to three shots before he throws the trident. And now, see, he's already gone to... The, okay, yeah, now it is time for the blue potion. And if we get knocked down again, of course, see, this is a good place to use the f fact that when you throw uh, a, an empty bottle into those waterfall of wishing ponds, that you can get a green potion. Because, you know, if you've got an empty bottle for whatever reason, like you're you're like me and kind of suck. Uh, you know you can avoid. Yeah, let's just use the the cane. Stay away from the sides and just keep whacking the Ganon. Careful when he jumps, you will get frozen. Okay, get off the cane now because we're gonna need the fire rod for the most part. You can just stay out of his way, whack him. Oi, stop teleporting and just freeze solid. He teleports if you're too close to him, I guess. There we go. Just jump again. There we go. All right, now try and, yeah, secret technique of darkness, great. Ow. Yeah, he'll do that. Just, you know, watch. Don't get hit by the bats. Don't, if you can, don't get hit by Ganon either. You know, get back to there. If you can get up there and hit him, it's even better, but you can do that. Stay away from the center and just, you go. You can only get one shot in on him per moment of, uh, you know, dark, moment of light. You know, the, they'll go out before he's vulnerable again. Hit him. Ah, son of a... Ah, <sighs> right. Well, we're right... We're pretty much exactly the way through again. I might have to use the cane <laughs> a little more than I did. Uh, weirdly, I don't normally have this much trouble with Ganon. It's very strange. But, you know, we can totally do it. Let's see. Ha-ha! Yeah, we get her, which is nice. So, let's, you know... We go up this way. We go in here. Let's... And I'll show it off. I'll... You know, we'll get our magic back without having to use a blue potion. So, yes. Throw an item. Throw that green... That bottle. Oh, and look, when we don't actually have an item equipped, that's kind of cool. Yes, I dropped it. And she gives me a green potion. Yeah, well, it's it's a not too much of a bargain, but it's not bad. So we'll just fill that now. You know, we've we've got everything else. We don't really need it, and our life is at least reasonably full. I'm sure I'll have to use another one. Actually, you know what? Let's see if that fairy comes back because we went in and out of there. It can be interesting to take a look. Watch out for those guys. Yep, yep, the fairy comes back. Good. Yep, watch out for those jerks. <laughs> yeah, the bombs will do friendly fire, which is nice. So, let's go back and finish Ganon. We're almost full up on hearts. We are full up on magic. Let's finally finish this and not get knocked off the edge. I'm glad they never really did boss left fights like this again. 
Yeah, yeah, we've been through this a few times. But yeah, like I said, I'm glad they never really did boss fights like this again. Because the, the fact that it starts over every time you get knocked off is just a pain. It, it, it doesn't do anything except, you know, extend the, the length of the fight. It, it's padding. And it's just, it's stupid. So we watch out. You know, um, a good thing to do here might be just to, you know, hit the, you know, hit that and just get in and hit him and just keep doing it until, you know, he starts doing the jump. Of course, you can get lag <laughs> from the, from the, uh, cane going at the same time as your, um, you can turn off the cane. That's the other thing is you can turn off the cane. Now, check it out. We are suddenly, you know, completely... You know, watch out because he freezes. He'll freeze you when he hits the ground. Be, just be careful. Don't get too close because then he just teleports away. So you have to leave yourself some, you know, some room. Luckily, the, the, the bats don't come out more than like half of the area from him. Ow, that was just not fun. Right, whack him. Get about halfway across the area. Okay, secret technique of darkness. Let's go back to the stupid fire rod. And we get down here and take, you know, you need to take shots at... Ow, yeah, at least the bats are less likely to knock you off. So just, you know, stay. Whack him. Hit him with the, you know... Whack him, hit him with the thing, stay up. Basically, just try and stay up and dodge shit until... There we go. Whack him. Hit him. I think it takes four tries, but I am not entirely certain. So just stay out of his way. Now at least the bats are... The bats... Okay, so we're short on magic power. But that's why I've got all these cure-alls. So, you know, we go back... Dude, there. One, two. You don't want to use the lantern in this because, you know, you have to get too close. Stay away from the sides, you know, until you, until you're, you know, the only times you should be down anywhere near the sides are taking those shots. If you can get close to him and hit him, awesome. If not, just stay out of his way. The bats, there we go, fourth shot. Yeah, the bats always come straight, so <laughs> you, at least you don't have to worry about them knocking you in weird directions. So, we've beaten Ganon, and that is the final boss. So with that, we get to head this way. And we get the Triforce. Welcome, Link. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His Dark World will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now, touch it with a wish in your heart. And so the Triforce comes together. And we head up to claim it. 
and lift it like it's an item in our inventory. And we get the actual credits. Sort of. Well, it's the ending. The Return of the King. We get to see, you know, bits and pieces of all the rooms around, or rooms, regions around Hyrule. Now, there, you see they have faces. That's why I've always thought those soldiers were actually constructs. The Loyal Sage. In the Japanese, he's really more of a priest. The, no, literally, that's really his title, and the wise men are sages. Sahasrila's Homecoming. And then, of course, there's that lady and the quarreling brothers. Vultures rule the desert. I, I don't know why that line has always just sort of cracked me up. And there's that guy. I guess he's not completely retired after all. The bully makes a friend. Yeah. It looks like there wasn't that much difference between their Dark World shapes after all. Your uncle recovers. So apparently Link did a Dragon Ball Z and wished everybody who died back to life. Flippers for sale! Apparently Zora managed to sneak an ad into the credits. The Witch and Assistant, and of course in the GBA version, the Assistant is replaced with Maple from the Game Boy games. Twin Lumberjacks. Their names, according to the sign outside their house, are A Bumpkin and B Bumpkin. And their faces are kind of frightening when you look at them head on. And the Flute Boy's back. I like how this bit is over a different, you know, sort of a musical bridge. Venus, Queen of the Fairies. And if we hadn't blown open that wall, there wouldn't be any little fairies in this uh, scene. It'd just be her. And the Dwarven Swordsmiths. I hope you guys can't hear those sirens. I, I live near a hospital, so... The bug catching kid. Oh, and uh, there's Padishar Creel. And the little old lady who's secretly a fairy in disguise. And her chickens. I guess the bug catching kid is actually the son of that lady and the innkeeper? I don't know. The lost old man is still lost, apparently, because he's still up there. How he got onto that bridge without a hammer, I don't know. But, of course, you can look down and see the Lost Woods way below, which is pretty cool. And there's a Cucumage. And that's what, a, that, that, you know, thing is what a Cucumage turns into if you hit it with magic powder. That thief isn't particularly happy with us, I guess. And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. Or at least until Link Between Worlds. Really, I mean, at this point, you know, whatever you think about the timeline, that's pretty much canonical. Because the, that, that one is a direct sequel. Pardon me. And now we get the actual credits. And I love, I love this background bit. That's basically the Golden Land is slowly turning back to the Golden Land, not the Dark World anymore. It starts out with the really, you know, freaky reddish tint and goes through yellow and then a little green and finally you have green hills and blue skies. So, like I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It is my favorite Zelda game of all time with Link Between Worlds as a very, very close second. Link Between Worlds suffers in one area and I suspect you all know what I'm going to say. It is the reason I will never, or never, I will not do a Link Between Worlds 100% run unless, you know, things change dramatically. Fucking Octoball. Octoball Derby is just awful. <laughs> but, you know, this game, it was, for one thing, I mean, it, you know, it was a complete revelation. There had been two Zelda games before. The first one 
which, you know, was an amazing, amazing game, and the second one, which wasn't a bad game, but if when you wanted something more like the first Zelda, well, it just didn't deliver. So a lot of people were really disappointed in it. Add in that it is really quite difficult. Whereas the other Zelda game is, if you know what you're looking for, it's not nearly as tough. Zelda 2, it's the black sheep of the series for a reason, which doesn't mean it's not a good game. It's just, you know, if you like Zelda games, you might not like necessarily Mario or Call of Duty, because they're so different. Doesn't mean one game's objectively better, it just means, you know, this is what you're in the market for. But then this game came out, and it was everything we'd loved about the first game even better. The graphics were better, it was easier to find your way around Hyrule, Hyrule was not nearly as samey looking. It was, the story was in, actually better, the translation was better. Part of the reason the original Zelda was so cryptic is that they, the translation was really not very good. Sometimes they just flat out change clues, which could be a real problem. But this one had a much better translation, I think, and the story was fun. It wasn't anything hugely deep and in-depth, but for a non-RPG, it was still pretty much something interesting. So, you know, I mean, it was one of my favorite games, and it's remained one of my favorite games. I didn't, I didn't really fall in love with Ocarina of Time the same way other games did, or other gamers did for a number of reasons. But uh, you see here, we've got the um, the histories and things. Yeah, that's those are times I quit the game. Not not actually died, just quit. Yeah, you, you know, because I stopped the game, save, you know, hit save and quit. And as you can see, there weren't any saves and quits in the last several, because at that point I was using save states because it wasn't convenient anymore to warp all around the light world. Ha! <laughs> Total Games Played 007! Awesome! I'm a gaming secret agent. But yeah, I mean, it's this is really a wonderful game. We don't get a second quest, it's just, you know, you've won. You beat the game. Eventually it will go back to the title screen, I think. Pretty sure. Nope. No, you actually have to reset it. So, really, I'm going to leave it off here. Well, well, we'll we'll reset it. And you know, you just hit that's Where does it Oh, there we are. Reset game. Sorry about that. Yeah, you know, we reset it goes back to the thing, and of course it'll do the intro again. You know, warn for flashing because it does. And then we hit, you know, and there you see, I've got a seven next to my name, which is how many games I beat the game in. And I can start, if I choose this save file, it'll start just basically right back before Ganon. But I think that's going to be it for now. I may or may not do a short bonus episode showing you basically, like, hidden rupee caches around the around Hyrule. I'm not sure if that's really that interesting enough to carry another video. So either I'll be back with a bonus episode or more likely I'll be back with my next LP, which is going to be Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Regardless, whichever it is, I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye.